Mr. Jiang Jianguo, Mr. Yang Wanming, Mr. Wang Huiyao. Distinguished experts, distinguished guests, dear friends, good morning. I'm very pleased to join you, friends, old and new, in Beijing for this important event. The three year COVID 19 has already passed. And now we are meeting here face to face in Beijing. So I'm deeply delighted about this opportunity. No matter how well developed the online meeting tools or how convenient they are, they will never replace the offline face-to-face -face exchanges. So on behalf of uh, the China International Communications Group, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to you on the opening of this event. A year ago, the 20th Party Congress issued an important and sincere call for respecting diversity of civilizations and uh, to use exchanges among civilizations to replace the differences, conflicts, or the sense of uh, superiority among civilizations and work together to promote the solution of uh, global challenges. In March this year, President Xi Jinping also proposed the Global Civilization Initiative and uh, further expanded on the new journey that China wants for the exchanges among different civilizations. At last week's Belt and Road Summit, China has actually taken further steps to deepen our civilization dialogue between BRI countries. Over the past year, the exchanges among different civilizations have uh, shifted from concept to reality and from initiative to actions, and think tanks are actually an important part of this great process. In this post-COVID-19 era, the world has become more volatile. We are facing a lot of uh, multiple challenges and crises, and we are facing also political conflicts and uh, the uh, political tensions and the global economy is sluggish and we are facing more and more development gaps and also environmental climate change challenges which are all affecting sustainable development. Just too recently we are also seeing the escalating Israel-Palestine conflict that actually tells us that uh, there are many reasons for such conflicts and wars, but uh, one thing we need to be aware of, that is to say, among different civilizations and ethnic groups and uh, religions, they are still the kind of arrogance on the side of some parties. And uh, what kind of uh, outlook we have on civilization will affect the destiny of uh, mankind if we do not walk away from the closed uh, approach or conservative, conservative approach to civilization. We will never avoid the conflicts and confrontations, and we will never achieve sustained peace, harmony, and development. Think tanks are the creators of uh, thoughts and producers of knowledge as well as promoters of policies and uh, they are very important in guiding the trend of uh, the era and uh, they should shoulder the responsibility for promoting the exchanges among different civilizations, dissolving the conflicts among civilizations and building a shared future for mankind. That is why we are holding this event today to explore how think tank cooperation can better fulfill its responsibilities. So on behalf of my organization, I'd like to pay tribute to 
CCG and CPAFFC, who are the hosts of this event. I'd like to this opportunity to share with you some of my observations too. We need to develop research on all kinds of cultures and promote the diversity of civilizations. The world is rich in civilizations. There is no superiority. Arrogance and prejudices usually come from uh, ignorance and narrow-mindedness. And think tanks are the producers and of great thinking and promoters of policies. The more objective our ideas about uh, other civilizations and uh, the better judgment we have, then our thoughts are more mature and well-developed. So we need to go beyond the uh, fixed thinking and prejudices and be open to our research among different uh, cultures and civilizations in order to build mutual understanding, respect, and uh, empathy among different uh, ethnic groups, religions, and cultures, and between the North and uh, the East and the West and the South, in order to provide uh, intellectual support for the exchanges among different civilizations. Second, we need to promote exchange of knowledge and uphold common values for mankind. Peace, development, equity, justice, democracy, and freedom are our common aspirations, and also the basic value as a foundation for the shared future for mankind. Think tanks need to work together to provide a good guiding role and carry out knowledge sharing and experience exchanges among different countries, and we should be open in understanding and interpreting the values of different civilizations. And we should be against ideological conflict, uh, conflicts. The Academy of Contemporary China and World Studies is also a supporting agency of this meeting. And uh, we have been promoting the Contemporary China and World Knowledge Sharing Plan for many years. And we have also had the uh, Knowledge Development Alliance vision. And we want to contribute to the global think tank knowledge sharing. And third, we also need to do a good job interpreting the policies and build a good international public opinion environment. Different civilizations have different language traditions. So there may be some misunderstandings in the dialogue. That is why we need the think tanks to contribute to better understanding and reading. That is why we have promoted the public knowledge sharing product. It is called the China Keywords. It is a series, actually. We want to use the good expression to help domestic and foreign think tanks to better understand the major concepts of China in the new era. And I have noted that you will have uh, keynote speeches and roundtables for this event that will also help us to eradicate uh, the obstacles for a better understanding. And fourth, we need to build good networks and bring our people more closely together. Think tanks are the important uh, players in promoting people-to-people -people exchanges, and they play a key role in promoting the uh, uh, relationship among different people in terms of uh, thinking and knowledge production. I'm very happy to see that we have a wide representation of um, countries in this meeting. Uh, this is, uh, stands for the friendship and uh, goodwill for dialogue and exchanges. I hope that uh, CCG could uh, further leverage its role in uh, communicating with uh, uh, think tanks uh, in China and in the world to promote a better understanding between the peoples. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, mutual learning, it's not merely a, a concept, a, an initiative. It is what we actually should be doing daily. 
It is something that uh, think tanks in the world should uh, um, work for. The um, CICG was um, established in 1949. It is one of the largest. It is one of the largest uh, um, comprehensive uh, communication institution in China. It covers uh, publications, education, and culture. Dedicated to uh, presenting chi a China that is um, in in all fronts and in all its um, colors. The um, ACCWS will take this form as an opportunity to strengthen exchanges cooperation with think tanks and uh, 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 and uh, scholars in the world to better build these uh, brands and of uh, activities to promote um, progress of human civilizations. And finally, I wish this uh, forum a complete success. Thank you.